Hello and welcome to our tutorial on the Report Generation module. Report Generation is a great utility for compiling information, sending mass emails, or creating reports. You'll find Report Generation in the Customer Info Reports menu. We'll begin in the first tab, the Customers tab. Here you can choose which order the customer results will be presented in. This is for creating reports where you may want the customers to appear in numerical order rather than alphabetical. Next, you have the option to select a billing customer that fits the criteria, or to select individual locations that fit your criteria. Below, you'll have multiple fields for entering your search criteria. Entering information in these fields will send ESC searching for any and all customers or locations that match the information that has been entered. If you check the Exclude box next to your search criteria, ESC will look for any customers or locations that do not have that information on record. You can also choose to search only active or inactive customer records. Next, we have the Agreements tab. The Agreements tab will select customers or locations based on what information it finds in an associated agreement. The Active State option here is for the current status of the agreement only. The Equipment tab will allow you to search for individual pieces of equipment. You may have received notice of a manufacturer recall and need to contact any customer that has that particular piece of equipment on record. Or you may need to contact customers about their soon-to-expire warranty. The History tab searches for information in the customer's history record. History is either entered manually in the Enter Customers screen, or it comes from a history code that has been placed on an invoice. A billing code or inventory item may also be set to Post to History when it is placed on an invoice, so that you can keep a record of when that item was purchased. This is also the perfect place to compile a list of customers that haven't used your service in a while, so that you can contact them and try to win their business again. Simply fill in the date serviced and click the box next to Exclude Customers Matching Criteria. The results will be a list of customers that do not have any history records entered for the date range you specified. Finally, we have the Sort Codes tab. A sort code, which is different from a sales sort code, is a way of categorizing your customers or adding information to their record. You can use this to sort out customer or residential customers, house or condo owners, or perhaps mark some customers as pet owners, in case you ever decide to offer a promotion on duct cleaning for animal lovers. You can apply more than one sort code to a customer and more than one sort code to your report generation list. You can also generate reports or results based on a combination of tabs. For instance, you can run a report for all customers with a residential sort code that also have an active service agreement. Once you have entered your criteria, click the OK button and ESC will begin searching for all matching records. Once it is done searching, you'll see another screen open. The top of the screen will let you know how many records were found that match your criteria. You'll have four options on the left side. Print or email using a template, print a report, print labels, and export customer list to ASCII. Print or email using a template will allow you to create letters for mailing or emailing to your customers. This process is covered in our tutorial video on word processor templates. The next option down is Print a Report, which will let you choose the information and format in which your search results will be printed. Simply select the report you want to view and click either Preview or Print. The Print Labels option on the left will allow you to automatically create a mailing label for every record selected. If you told ESC to select individual customer locations, then you'll get a mailing label with the location address of every selected record printed on it. If you chose Select Distinct Customers, then ESC will print only the billing or general address for every selected record. When you click the Print button in the middle of the screen, you will be given the option to select the format of your labels or configure the format of labels you wish to print. Our final option is Export Customer List to ASCII. This will export the selected customer records and all of their information to a tab-delimited text file. A tab-delimited text file can be opened in a variety of other programs for the purpose of reporting or manipulating the information within that file. A good example of this would be Microsoft Excel, which can convert the tab-delimited text into individual cells, columns, and rows in a spreadsheet. 
In case you're wondering which customers have made it into your search results, you can produce a list of selected records by clicking the Display Selected button at the bottom of the report generation screen. This concludes our tutorial on report generation. For more reporting options, please see our tutorials on list views and using filters on reports. Mm -hmm.